no, 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 to another episode ooh, of Village of Speed HD on the Zone. Today I wanted to tell you guys a little story about when Tyler won the lottery. Now there are two different times this happened and two different stories. I don't think I'll have time to tell both stories in a single episode, so we'll see what happens. We'll see if I can pull that off. If not, I guess there will be another episode with the second story. So let's get into it. This girl says she's friends with Nobu, or boy I guess. But she can't spell his name. Interesting. So this story takes place in, I believe, 2013, after Tyler and I had moved to Fort Wayne. We were pretty down on our luck. We were struggling pretty terribly with finances. We didn't have, like, any money when we moved. And then we got jobs, but they weren't paying very well. And our rent was way more expensive than we had wanted it to be and we thought we would be able to afford it but it just wasn't working out so well we were really down on our luck and it was I think it was right before Thanksgiving or around Thanksgiving so it was almost Christmas time too and we didn't think we were going to be able to afford to even get anyone Christmas presents however one day Tyler decides to buy a lottery ticket and lo and behold this motherfucker wins five thousand dollars yeah five thousand dollars we went from a couple hundred dollars in our bank account to five grand freaking amazing we could travel for christmas to my mom's we could get everyone christmas presents we could get each other christmas presents because of that money he was able to get my engagement ring however tyler's job required him to be at work during certain hours, and the lottery office was only open until around uh, 4.30 p.m., I think, most days, and the way that it works, if you win over, like, I think they've changed it now, so it's if you win a thousand dollars or more, you have to go to the lottery office. It used to be, like, if you win 500 or more, you have to go, but regardless, obviously, we won way more than like a thousand so we definitely had to go to the lottery office and I hate going places by myself I have a terrible sense of direction I'm just like really shy and whatever in general and I said in my last video that I have anxiety and this is to the point where like every time I leave the house I'm like oh my god did I turn the stove off did I unplug my straightener even if I didn't even have it on and if I'm not sure I'll go back to my house and look because I'm afraid my house is going to burn down and the cats are going to die. I live in a teeny tiny town in the middle of nowhere where nothing ever happens. No one's ever been murdered here. No one ever, ever has their house broken into. Nothing like that. But I always lock my car doors. I always like leave lights on or whatever and I'm always terrified that someone is going to come murder me. Oh god, oh god, oh god, stop. Oh god. I'm always very vigilant to make sure that I look around when I'm outside to make sure no one's following me. Just stuff like that. And there's a lot more to it than that, but that's not what I'm here to talk about today. If you want me to make a separate video about anxiety, if you feel like you may suffer from anxiety, or you just want to know more about how I feel, then I can totally do that later. So Tyler wasn't going to be able to go to the lottery office. It was basically, I was going to have to go by myself, no matter what. So, I look up the directions, and instead of printing them out, I just decided I was going to take my phone, and I would use Google Maps. That should be fine, right? Wrong. So, this is like winter time too, so it's very cold. I don't think the roads were bad or anything, it wasn't snowing, but... It was cold and not good. So I'm driving and of course, of all times to leave my car charger for my phone at home, I left it at home now. And when I left, my phone was at 100% and I should have been fine. Except stupid me that was driving down the interstate for like 90 miles decided to leave my map open so that I knew where I was going. And when you leave maps open, it leaves your phone open. 
So my screen was just on for like an hour and a half, two hours, while I was driving down the same road going straight. Like I literally just had to get on the interstate, take it until I got to the city with the lottery office in it, and then get off on an exit and do a bunch of turns and go into the city and get there and whatever. So I definitely didn't need my phone on, but I didn't really think about it. And then it was too late and I had already had it on and I realized that it was about to die. So I turned it off for the moment, like I turned the screen off. I get into town and I'm trying to find my way around and I missed my exit to like I was in town but the way it was there they have like their own little highway through the town and you have to get it off and exit within the highway and it's very confusing and I've only been to that place a few times so I've never really learned how to navigate there so my phone is now at 2% yes 2 2% all that I know is the name of the street that this place is on I don't know the exact address. I don't know how to get there. I simply know the name of the street. So in a panic with my phone at 2%, could you stop running wherever you want, you stupid keyboard? Ugh. In a panic with my phone at 2%, I call Tyler crying and I'm like, oh my god, I'm so stupid. I didn't bring my car charger. I left my phone on. I thought I saw diamonds, but I was mistaken. Oh god. Oh, I did see diamonds, I just didn't see them, if that makes sense. Alright, cool. Anyway, I'm so stupid, I left my charger at home, I my phone is dead, I left it on, it's at 2% right now, I need you, oh no, did I lose one? What, that, that was 7? Holy shit. Anyway, I need you to look up the address of this place and tell me how to get there really, really quick, because I cannot... I'm not going to be able to find it and I'm not going to be able to find my way back home. Like, you need to do something. You either need to come here or get someone to come here. Tell me the address, something, like right now. So in the middle of my panic, of course, my phone dies. So now I'm stranded in Indianapolis, having no idea where I am, having no idea where this place is, with no phone. And let me also say, I also had no money because I normally don't carry a wallet or anything around with me. Tyler just always carries my debit card. So all I had with me was my license. I didn't have a phone. I didn't have, or I didn't have money. All I had with me for whatever reason was the credit card that my grandma gave me in high school that I use for emergencies and my car insurance every month and I thought that having no gas was definitely an emergency so I got gas on the way there with that credit card but I didn't want to use it for anything else like a phone charger and even if I did I didn't know where the hell to go to get a phone charger because I didn't know my way around and I didn't want to drive around aimlessly if I didn't have to because I was trying to remember exactly where I was going so that I would be able to go back the same exact way so I'd be able to find my way home. So I was terrified and after I got off the phone with him and I realized that I was doomed, I just bawled my eyes out. I absolutely lost it. Like I don't think I've ever, ever cried that hard in my life. Not when somebody died. Like I've only had two people in my family die and neither of them were very close family members for me. It was my great grandma and great grandpa and I barely even knew them. But anyway, I just cried and cried and cried absolutely so hard. Like just lost my mind. I was like, what am I going to do? Where am I going to go? I don't know how to get to this place. I don't know where this is. I have no money. Even when I get this check, I'm not going to have any money because I can't just go deposit the check. I don't have my debit card. So now my only option is just to try and hope that I succeed. So I drive around and around and I'm trying to remember what the direction said. I semi remember some of the stuff but I'm really not sure. All I remember is that this place is on Meridian Street. 
Meridian Street, Meridian Street, Meridian Street. That is where I need to be. That is what I need to do with my life. So I drive around in circles for a while, and somehow I magically make it to Meridian Street. I'm driving, and I look up, and the street sign says Meridian Street. Oh my god, I managed to find it. Well, at least I found the street. So now I have to decide. Oh god, that was a bad idea. Come in here. Oh god, okay. Now I have to decide, where am I going to go? Which direction is this on Meridian Street? How far down is it on Meridian Street? Am I even somewhat close to the location of this place? I have absolutely no idea. So, more diamonds. Get in the lava, get in the lava, get in the lava. Yeah, death to you. Oh god, don't. Please don't, please don't. Please don't. Get out of here. Good lord. So, I just look down the street either way from where I am. I decide that I'm just going to go right because it would be easier to turn right than to turn left. So, I turn right. I drive down the street a few blocks. And, lo and behold, there is the lottery office. And let me also tell you that this whole time we were trying to get this bitch that Tyler worked with to take his shift after she takes his shifts all the time, and he didn't even want her to take a shift. He just wanted her to come in like an hour early so that he could leave and go with me. No, oh, no, 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 no. My fucking keyboard almost jumped me into lava. Nope, that zombie almost pushed me into lava now too. Oh god. My life, my life, my life, my life. Stop. Okay, I can make... A diamond helmet. Get away from me. Anyway, so we decide that she's not going to be able to get off. I need to leave. So I did, and I went by myself and whatever. And I left at absolutely the last possible minute. Like, I had just enough time to get there without being lost. And here I was, lost. So, I finally get to the lottery office. I have no idea where I'm supposed to park because there's a sign that says something. I don't remember what it said, but it was like weird to where it seemed like it should be employees only in this one parking lot, but there was nowhere else to park. That was the parking lot of the lottery office. So, I figured I'll be in here five minutes. They're not just going to come tow my car like... Worst case scenario, I get a ticket, and hey, I have $5,000, so whatever. Like, I just have to get in here. I literally had four minutes from the time that I saw the lottery office until the time that they closed. And the moment they close, stop walking. I'm not walking anymore. Stop walking. The moment that they close, they will no longer process your stuff. Their machines get turned off and they won't do anything for you. So I get there with four minutes to spare. I freaking run inside like I've never ran before in my life. Oh god, I almost ran right into lava. I go up to the first desk that I find. I tell them I need to cash this lottery ticket. Not dealing with that. They tell me Oh my god, you only have a couple minutes, that's across the hall, you better hurry. So I run across the hall, I literally got there at absolutely the last second, and I was just like, oh my god, please, please tell me you're still open, I just drove here from Fort Wayne, I got lost, my phone died, I didn't know what was going on, please help me, please, like I'm not going to be able to come back here again for like a month because I work constantly. Thankfully, they had had some extra work that day. So they were still open. I don't know if it was like one minute before or if it was like exactly time, but they were still open and they cashed my lottery ticket and I took my $5,000 check and I began to attempt to make my way home blindly, not having any idea where I was going, just attempting to remember which way I had gone and go back and at this point it's also pitch black and I'm not like I made my road rage video and whatever but I never said oh god I can't move I can't move and there's lava I never said that I was a good driver 
Never at all. I am not a good driver. I just hate other people that are also bad drivers. I'm not playing fucking Ring Around the Rosie with you. So, whatever. Anyway, fighting two people at once right now. So, I'm driving in the dark, no less. Could potentially start snowing at any moment. Now I'm walking backwards. This is so hard to play when you can't control yourself, just so you guys know. Don't you place lava on me, bitch. Now he's gonna try to clean up, but he's not gonna get that clean up. No siree, Bob. No siree. Light me on fire all you want, motherfucker. I don't care. I'm gonna kill your ass. Yep. Sure am. Gonna... Oh, another clean up. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get the fludgeon fludge out of here, boy. All the people with the lava. I'm standing in water. Are you stupid? Like, really? Anybody else want to come clean me up? Please no. Because I need to make some freaking gapples. Anyway, yeah, what the fuck is right? Whew. So, <laughs> I decided, I was like, well, I could either attempt to get to my mom's house, which, oh, there's a person right there. I could either attempt to get to my mom's house, which was probably about the same distance. I wasn't sure what would be easier or harder, but I needed to do something. So I just went for it and where's this head? Okay. I decided that I was gonna just drive for a while and if I could manage, please don't, I'm trying to make a head bro. Trying to make a head here, bro. Please don't be the one with little something, little hobo. You have full health, of course. Stop it. Stop strafing me. God. No, 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 my love, my lord, okay. I decided that if I could manage to make it to a sign that said Fort Wayne, that I would be okay and I would be able to find my way home. So I just kind of went for it and I drove and I saw a sign that said Fort Wayne. So I just kept going and I came in a weird backwards way that I'd never been in before. But I made it and I cried when I saw that I was in Fort Wayne. And I cried when I got home, and as soon as I came home, Tyler heard me fall in the driveway, and he was waiting for me at the door. And he was like, oh my god, I'm so happy that you're okay. I was so worried about you. Don't ever do that again. Like, always bring your charger with you. Oh, I did pick up the head already. So yeah, moral of the story, don't forget your car charger. And never, ever, ever, ever leave your freaking phone on while you are driving, if you don't need it on, because you make stupid mistakes and then you're fucked. So yeah, that's about it. Now let's go and kill the rest of these bitches. All right, kiddos, where you at? It's time to fight. I've been in the same corner for this entire game because everybody was over here fighting. I don't know how I killed those people, especially when I can't even control my own walking part of the time, but whatever. It's fine when I'm trying to go this direction, but if I let go and it keeps moving, it didn't do it that time, but if I let go and it keeps moving, it's terrible. Please don't be camping underground somewhere. Oh, I guess you're not because you just slayed each other. Now where the hell was that? Are you on this mountain somewhere? Perhaps, perhaps? Oh, there you are. Nope, that was a bunny. Just kidding. I don't see you anywhere, bro. But I see fire that I don't think was here before. Yes, there you are. Goodbye! Wow, you were that low. Okay, well. GG! Hooray! I won! So, yeah. I got lost. It was terrible. I cried. I thought my life was over. Like, I didn't even know what to do because I couldn't call anyone. And like I said, I have anxiety just in general and social anxiety for sure. 
So I definitely didn't want to ask anyone for directions or to use their phone. So what would I even do? Like, how would anyone even know where I was? Would I just stay at the lottery office until someone came and got me? Like, I don't know. But hey, it doesn't matter because I made it home. Now, the next lottery story is even more hilarious and terrible, and it actually involves Tyler because we went together. So stay tuned for that one another time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all again next time. Bye-bye!